back now to England for a look behind the scenes at the London Transport Works at Aldenham, Hertfordshire, to see just one of the demanding tests that buses have to undergo today to prove their roadworthiness. The buses are in fact as safe as houses, but for practical reasons, the main stability test is carried out with about two tons of sandbags strapped to the upper deck to represent 30 10 stone passengers. London Transport's 10,000 buses are completely stripped down and overhauled every three and a half years, although the stability test is only applied to one bus of each type, or a bus that has undergone any alterations. Notice that the bus is not secured in any way, and two rubber buffers on one side act as the only safety device in case the bus should tip over. The rig is operated by foreman Charlie Taylor, who's been working on bus maintenance since 1927. For the technically minded, the bus is tilted by a hydraulic ram of one and a quarter tons pressure. Ministry of Transport regulations stipulate that a double-decker bus must be able to tilt to 28 degrees without turning over, but the engineers test the bus to its limit. Worth remembering next time you grip the edge of your seat when the bus turns a sharp corner. The side dial indicates the angle of tilt of the chassis, while the front dial shows a body tilt of 34 degrees, illustrating the amount of spring deflection in excess of the chassis. Mind you, a bus wouldn't tilt like that going around the Leaning Tower of Pisa, but it's nice to know that it wouldn't tip over if it had to make the trip. If you're still not satisfied, let's conclude with a quick visit to the skid patch at Chiswick Works to show how, even in an uncontrolled skid, the bus remains upright. A tribute to perfect design and another guarantee of the safety of London's famous buses.